Colder weather has come to our country house, so it looks at least a bit like winter again. We arrived just before it started snowing. This is just a short snow shower, but it still makes our stay here more interesting. It's fascinating to watch the snowflakes gracefully falling from the sky. But not everyone likes the cold. What's happening here? <laughs> it's so cold. You do realize it's gonna take like two days before it's warm here, right? No, I refuse to <laughs> acknowledge that. <laughs> My feet are cold. I need to warm up somehow. You have to warm up by moving, not by lying. <laughs> Still better here than like in the room. And it's so fluffy. I like the texture of this. <laughs> so at least something is pleasant. <laughs> uh. It's a nightmare, guys, always when we come here in winter. It's so cold. We should stay here so that we wouldn't have to heat it up every time. Yeah, we should stay here forever. Sadly, my work doesn't allow me. So, yeah, hard life. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sweaters. <laughs> This one, and they are very thick. This one is warm, and this one. But it's not enough here. I would need like 20 <laughs> at the beginning. You can bring your hat and gloves. <laughs> yeah, I should. I will take yours, because that one is warm. <laughs> like this, honey? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't it better? Brr. <laughs> Let me lay here for a few seconds and I'm going out of the bed. I don't want to, but life is hard. <laughs> it's freezing this time and immediately it's so much easier to be on a hike here. <laughs> We don't have to take care of the mud anymore. Yeah. And some of you will be happy to see that we do own gloves. Yay! And we have them on. <laughs> Mine are dirty, but they exist. Yeah, they do. So no more warm weather. But this is just for a few days. This frost from northeast. And a bit of snow. Very tiny amount. But at least it feels like winter again. Yeah, it does. And the days are getting longer. Mm -hmm. So far by 20 minutes yes, since December. 20 minutes. Oh my god, it's <laughs> happening. But it's getting faster, so that's positive news at least. Yes. We arrived today and it's so cold in the house <laughs> that we decided we better go outside for a walk because we don't need to freeze there in the house. We can freeze outside. And yeah, it's yeah. warmer here, I think. <laughs> it's not really warmer, but it feels warmer when we are like in our gloves and winter hats and everything. And on the move. Oh, and on the move. Yeah, that's the main thing, because we can be fully clothed inside, <laughs> but <laughs> that's not very convenient. Mm -hmm. So this is better. And we are on the move, on the fresh air. It's healthier and better. Yeah. It was 8 degrees inside when we arrived and we want to get it to 20, but that's going to take like a day and a half. Yes. I don't think we're going to reach 20 today because it's colder outside, so it takes longer. Yeah, yeah. But it's still financially better to set the heating on a lower temperature when we are not here and then heat it up again. Yeah. We were reading more about forest ownership because we're interested in the topic, even though we are not planning to buy a piece of land. And it's quite strict here, even compared to other countries, because as we mentioned, you are not allowed to put a fence around. You have to keep every land accessible to public if it's outside of urban area, outside of the village, outside of the city. Mm -hmm. 
so that includes forest as well. You cannot build there anything. You have to let anyone in. You have to let people pick up uh, fallen branches. You have to let them pick fruits for their own needs, mm -hmm. not for commercial uh, stuff. Yeah, or mushrooms and stuff like that, uh -huh. but just in small amounts. And sometimes there are dedicated spots where you can build a cabin in the woods, but it's like a lot of cabins in one uh, spot and you don't own the land around the cabin and it's still accessible to public so people can walk under your windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's not what we want. Yeah. We were reading about it and it works like that here in Central Europe, in Austria, Czech Republic, Switzerland, also in Scandinavia and in some other countries in Northern Europe. So it's not everywhere. All land, all nature is accessible for everyone. So we feel like this is better for the public, obviously not for the owners. But, I don't know, it's better when we can go anywhere because nature should be for everyone, right? Yeah, and there's a really dense uh, network of hiking trails in the Czech Republic, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the densest in the world. So there are hiking trails everywhere in our country. It's interesting. These laws have been in effect for a very long time, for centuries, I think. So for us, it's very normal. That's how it is here and how it's always been. So people don't question it and people are used to going in nature everywhere. Sometimes there are fences in the forests, like here. But that's, for example, when they need to plant new trees and they want to protect them from animals. And even then, uh, there are stairs where you can enter, even though there's nothing in there, so I don't actually know why there are here. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can look around. Yeah, you are on the top of the world. not very stable. <laughs> so this pond is called In Little Ponds. <laughs> that's the name of this pond. <laughs> so that's nice. And sometimes there is more water here, mainly in spring, like after winter, the water accumulates here, but over the time it goes down. Isn't it something like retention uh, reservoir? Yeah, something like that, I think. But maybe there is some spring here somewhere. I don't know. So do you think I'm risking my life here? No, not your life, just your feet. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it anymore. It should get more frosty in the coming days. No snow, but quite frosty. And we are afraid about our barrels because there is some leftover water there. <laughs> and at first we were like, it was going to be okay. Like nothing is going to happen even if the water freezes. But now we are not so sure, so Look, it's quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so luckily it wasn't completely frozen and oh, <laughs> now we have this. <laughs> I can serve breakfast on this or something. <laughs> It's a tray. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put it here. Uh -huh. And it will be additional moisture for this shrub. So this one got lucky. Yeah. And look at this. And it's happy eyes. <laughs> yeah, happy eyes. <laughs> there is more. I already did two more barrels. So. That's why this was easy, because I already knew that 
it's going and it's not a disaster. <laughs> this one is very interesting. Wow. <laughs> this is almost like a cup or something. Wow. I can drink from this. There is water. So it's very pretty. <laughs> Just one glass, okay? <laughs> So oh, I really like it. <laughs> and here one more. And this one is also happy. <laughs> happy eyes here. <laughs> and our barrels seem to be safe then. Yeah, they are safe. I'm really happy about that because I was a bit worried that it was a bad decision on our side to keep the water in there. It was. <laughs> and now it's almost done, but two more barrels. I am an ice expert already. Wow, this one is very clear. There uh -huh. are no leaves or other dirt. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I want this in my living room <laughs> somewhere. You can have it. But it's quite heavy, wow. Is there water here as well? Yes, there's water everywhere in <laughs> all of them. Uh -huh. We were like, it's okay, just a small amount, but this is more safe. Oh, you broke it. You... A broken glass. No, so sad. We still have a lot of apples to eat everywhere. <laughs> Sadly, this tray is broken. I could have put them here. <laughs> uh -huh. well, uh, this one is more artistic. Uh -huh. Just half of it. Amazing. So here you are, honey. Yum. Oh, it's so heavy. I need to work out more. And there was one more here in the yard. But that one is more difficult. Because the shape is like this, it gets narrower here, uh -huh. so there is a big chunk of ice here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh -huh. But it doesn't fit <laughs> through the opening, so luckily it was here next to this technical room and it's above freezing here. There is this boiler here. Or radiator. Boiler and radiator. <laughs> So this will melt and then we'll take it out, the water. But honey, it looks like you forgot this one. <laughs> but we should leave it here for the birds, I think. They will need to drink something. Yeah, but they are not able to drink now, or are they? There is a little bit of water underneath, so they need to work for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. It's not as uh, thick, but yes. <laughs> it's like a disc. Yeah, it's so pretty. I am an ice admirer now, <laughs> I like it. Okay, so all the four big ones are here. We will store them on top of each other. And then we have this smaller one. The lids. Yeah. I'll put them there as well so that we have everything in one place. You might have noticed that we don't spend much time indoors renovating or improving things. But today is the day we are going to install a new light that we bought. Mm. We have here temporarily, for the last two years, this, I don't know, office lamp or something, <laughs> which I bought in 2007. So I've had it for longer time than I have Peter, <laughs> my baby. And it's time to replace it with something more appropriate. So we bought this LED light which is made for kitchens, so we like to put it here somewhere. And we want to avoid drilling, even though we don't have to. 
it's not worth much probably, but if there's an easier way, we take it. So we have these power strips, so-called. So we will try to stick it to the cabinet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's do that. Yeah. And we'll see if it stays there or if it falls down and breaks. Yeah, because these sticky things are not meant originally or officially for that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the cable goes to the right. Yeah, and we have the socket here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will put it first on the light. Mm -hmm. Because that just sounds more logical. Yes, it does. And I'm supposed to put the whole thing here, right? It's the right size, can you see? Mm -hmm. It's amazing, this is totally made for this. <laughs> We're supposed to press it for like five seconds. Okay, so press it. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I started counting 15 seconds after I put it there, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we film things like this. <laughs> this is a major project for us. <laughs> So, <laughs> we've been preparing for this for the last three days. <laughs> okay, you think it's done? Mm -hmm. I didn't count this time. <laughs> oh. So should I? One, One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, honey, you are good to go. Each strip is uh, supposed to carry one kilogram. Mm -hmm. Whatever of weights. Yeah, and, and this, this is light. Very light. Yeah, <laughs> this light is very light. Yeah. <laughs> So, and like, should I put it just you know, wherever? Doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, right? Yeah, but more to the back a little like bit. Like here? Uh, no, no. Here? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I okay, suggest. so I will remove these covers and you will guide me. Like, I would say nothing can go wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm waiting for the lights to. No, fall. honey. You are very handy. Like here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Can I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. I'm afraid to let go. Yeah, hold it there for five seconds at least. One, two, <laughs> two and a half, <laughs> four, five. Okay. Press it a bit longer. <laughs> I just stay here all night. Come for me in the morning. Mm -hmm, good idea. I like it. Ten just to later. be sure. <laughs> No, I think we are... Ta -da! Yay! It's holding! Honey, you are amazing! Uh -huh. It's quite firm. Good. Wow. So even if I try to tear it off, it's not working. Okay, so <laughs> this will stay here forever. And ever. Until the end of times. Yeah. So that's nice. Even when the house is gone, the light will still be here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try to connect it, right? Mm-hmm. Seconds, we'll find out if the light is actually working. Because <laughs> we haven't tested it before. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> but in Europe, we have two year warranty for everything, so there's plenty of time to claim our warranty if something goes wrong. But the light will stay here forever, oh, so yeah, we can't return it. It's not have possible. to come here <laughs> yeah. to fix it. I guess it doesn't matter which side. We are so cute. Like, we don't know anything about anything. <laughs> and now... Ta-da! Wow! Yay! It's better. Mm -hmm, it's stronger. It's stronger and it consumes less power. Mm -hmm. Because this is an old-fashioned uh, light bulb. Yeah. With 28 watts, and this one is 9 watts, mm -hmm. so it saves three times, like you consume one third. Yeah, this is LED light. Yeah. And nicer, nicer color, like cold white or neutral white. Mm -hmm. Neutral, daylight. Better for kitchen. Yeah, and I don't feel like in an office anymore, <laughs> so this is nice. Wow. Okay. So that so... was easy. We should do more projects like this. Yeah. And I'm very happy too, of course, because this is my main working space. So this is mainly for me, right, honey? But you are my assistant, so you chop here more often too. Yeah, but I bought it for you because you were the one complaining that the old light is horrible. 
Yeah, <laughs> it was horrible. So bye and welcome you one. That's a nice effect on the camera. So this is going, I don't know where. Maybe to the bedroom because we don't have any lamp there. Or to the trash. <laughs> no, we'll find a use for it. Yeah, this is nostalgic for you. Yeah. You had this longer than you had me, so we can throw this out. <laughs> exactly, it's precious. So it's working. There is an update about our freezer and problems with the freezer. Last time we kept the fruits uh, in the freezer in the small house, but when we came back a few days later, it was again half frozen, half defrosted. And thanks to someone commenting on our last week's video, we realized that the issue might be that it's too cold. Yeah. here inside the house when we are not here because we don't keep the heating on to save money and we were reading about it and we realized that uh, fridges and freezers function correctly when there's normal temperature inside yeah that's physics yeah. i should have known that <laughs> so thank you <laughs> because it was a big revelation that oh yeah that sounds logical because our fridge with freezer has only one compressor which is used for both so when there is almost no temperature difference between the fridge and the inside of the house, then the compressor doesn't turn on because it doesn't need to cool down the air in the fridge. And therefore it doesn't cool down the air in the freezer either. But the freezer needs it. Mm -hmm. So there is the problem. Yeah. So we would probably have to keep the temperature in the house higher to create a difference. Which we are not going to do, because that wouldn't be financially the best. But the best variant is to buy a new freezer. And that would be standalone freezer, mm -hmm. so then it wouldn't matter if it's too cold in the house. Which we wanted to do anyway, because we expect more fruit coming in. <laughs> and our freezer is already so full in the city as well as here we will have to buy a bigger one anyway yeah so that's the future so everything is going well there is one great success after another like sticking a light to a kitchen cabinet there are new revelations and discoveries every day all very exciting we continue to live our simple quiet lives in these boring days. But we don't really mind, because this is what we like. We don't need much to be happy. Simple joys are what we prefer. There are other surprises and small projects waiting for us in the coming time. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and see you guys next time. Bye!